So, how's the food? Good. Well, leftovers, but um, how's yours? Good. Well, um, almost good. Your dog got into it a little bit before I My could, dog? so... You had that dog long before I was in the picture. True. But you know he only listens to you. You know I've lost all control of him since you left. You know he even started digging in your garden and... Keep him out of the garden. Okay, I've tried, but I think it reminds him of you. He just misses you too much. I mean, we both do. I miss you too. The dog, I mean. Of course. I, mean, I expect nothing less. How's work? Oh man, soul draining as usual. You know, it was a heavy paperwork week and Kate's been a godsend. She logged a lot of hours and I think she's working toward a raise and you know, she's really earned one this quarter. I mean, with the review coming up and you know, the kind of stress I'm under, it's just, I think she's been a lot of help. I mean, you know, the other day I was talking to, um, Steph. Steph, did I lose you? Hmm? What? Oh no, sorry. I guess I was just drifting off. How was your day? Hectic, as always. It feels like I'm constantly putting out fires and diverting catastrophes. Every day is a new problem and the seasonal hires they brought on while I was gone are Clueless, I'm practically working double to cover it all. Well, hey, don't overwork yourself, all right? Are you getting enough sleep? Yes. Well, are you eating yes, enough? Yes, I'm fine. I don't need a second mother right now. How is she, uh, your mom? She's great. She's always great. I'm a mess, but... At least. I missed lunch with her today and she called and was so upset and I tried to explain that I'm trying to fit a year's worth of work into six months and that's already like a lot of pressure. But she's upset that I'm not spending more time with her and it's just like, I got this stupid job because you wanted me to, mom. Can you, can you make up your mind? Isn't anything I do good enough for you? Hey, you are good enough, all right? You're great at your job. I just don't know if it's the job I wanted anymore. Is this what I wanted to, or is this what she wanted? You don't have to work if you don't want to. I mean, you can come home, stay here with me and the dog. You know I make more than enough to cover us, and you can stay home and work in your garden and rest. And you don't have to be halfway across the world every other six months, and we can be together. You can do whatever you want here. I can take care of yeah, everything. We've been over this. Well, maybe we need to go over it again, because all I know is you don't seem happy, and all I want is for you to be happy. You know, I can't watch your, I can't watch you run yourself to death for six months straight. And, you know, working way too hard, dealing with your mother, on top of everything, and come home, crash, nurse yourself back to health, and then just to go back again. It's a terrible cycle. It's not healthy. And what am I supposed I don't think to do? You can keep Become doing a housewife? A stay-at-home mom to a dog? I don't want that. I want my career. I love my work. I love my job. I, I thought you loved me. That is so not fair. That's not what this is about. You know I love you. Do you? Because I'm starting to feel less like your husband and more like your part-time job. Aiden. Do you know how ridiculous it feels to have to schedule a meeting with your wife just to fit into her life? I'm not the only one with a job here. We both have busy schedules. Steph, I miss you. I miss my wife. I miss talking to you. I mean, even now it feels like your mind is even further away than you are. 
Like, don't even care what's happening here. I do care. I just, I have so much going on here and- Too much to even listen to me? I do listen to you. You don't, but it's fine. I know you have a lot going on right now, and going through a lot, so. Aiden, I'm trying to keep my head above water as it is. Sometimes I just can't deal with more stress. I just, I just want to forget the world exists. I just want you to come home. That's just it. My home is here. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. My, my home is there too. It's both, and I, I can't imagine my life without either of them, plus my mom. Forget your mother, okay? For, you are your own person, Steph. She shouldn't control you, all right? No one should. It doesn't matter what she thinks, or what I think, or what anyone else thinks. Just, are you happy? No, I'm not. Well. We made it a whole ten weeks this time. Maybe next year we'll get down to single digits. Aiden, how long can we keep doing this? I mean, for at least another 16 weeks. I mean long term. This isn't a new problem. This is the same fight we've been having for years. Our marriage is on the rocks every six months. I agree. It's not ideal, but... What else can we do? Maybe we need a break. Is 26 weeks apart not enough? I don't know. I, I don't know anymore. All I know is that I love you and I hate this and I hate only getting to see you in a screen for six months every year. I love you too. And you know I'll do everything I can to make this work and if that means taking a break, we can make that work or... I don't know, maybe I can try to come visit you next weekend and... I can come see you. No, you have that big quarterly review coming up. Don't add in the stress of traveling all the way out here. You were listening. Of course I was listening. Listening to you is the highlight of my day. I can still try to visit you on weekend. And leave your dog? Your dog. Our dog. You know he's a big boy. I mean, he can handle staying at home for a little while. And what about you? I'll survive. I mean, we've done it before, and we will again. But for how long? As long as we need to, right? Six months with you is infinitely better than a life without you. I had no idea when I took this job how hard it would be. There are so many little things I didn't even think of. Like what? Like... It's going to sound so stupid, but... Come, come on. on. Okay, I... I miss having someone else to drink the milk. I can never finish a carton and before it expires and then I feel so wasteful. <laughs> Really? Okay, so that's all I'm good for? Drinking milk? You no. Know. No, I get it. I mean, I miss seeing your shoes by the door. What? When your shoes were by the door, it meant you were back from work, but you weren't in the garden yet, and you were just in the house. I didn't realize you were reading my shoes. <laughs> um... So, speaking of shoes, our dog has been taking them to the garden. For you. No. <laughs> I'm afraid I didn't catch him in time to save your boots or the dahlias. Um, but I, I did stop him from digging up the pomegranate tree. Uh, my tree? My tree. I had that thing long before you took over the garden. But you said everything in the garden was mine, so technically... But it was the only plant I ever managed to keep alive. Would you... Settle for joint custody? Oh, I almost forgot! I found this in the store today. I thought you didn't like pomegranates. You know that they were too sour? 
they are a little sour, but I guess I was just feeling a little lonely and wanted something that reminded me of home. Tell you what. I will give you full custody of the tree if you come home. I'll sell for half custody when I get back. 15 weeks. 16 weeks. Hmm. Maybe I could get done a little early. Well, don't work too hard, okay? Take care of yourself. And go get lunch with your mother. <laughs> but that's right. a contradiction. But we both know you'll regret not having spent more time with her when you get back. Fine. But only if you call me after so I can rant and then listen to you rant about the quarterly reports. Deal. And I'll try to keep our dog away from the tree. My tree. Our tree. I miss you. I love you. I love you too. I'll be home soon.